Hi again, miss me? Welcome to the main session portion of the day. So I'm excited for you to hear from our amazing industry leaders in the field of interest that you chose here in this room. Um, you're gonna have employers who hire MASA participants at their companies, and you're gonna have MASA alumni who will have finished their programs and would love to share from their experiences. So this will really give you a 360 degree picture of what to expect from a MASA program in your field of interest, which is the topic of this room. They all have tons of Israel experience, all the people that we brought here for this room and really understand the Israel career space. So feel free to write down any questions you may have and you want to ask them and don't be shy asking those questions in the Q&A part. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Katie Levy. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And the Masa program that I participated in was Kibbutz Ulpan, which was in Kibbutz Yagor in the north of Israel. Hello, my name is Tamara Fainblood. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. The program that I attended was a Tel Aviv University master's program in the emergency department, which is the Masters of Public Health in 2018. My name is Cody Norton. Uh, and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. I did Destination Israel back in August 2018 to January 2019. I'm Yarden and I'm from New York. I attended the Masa program Masuishi in 2016 to 2017. My name is Jake Hirsch and I'm from Long Island, New York. Uh, I now live in New York City. I attended the Massa Tel Aviv University Exchange Student Program where I studied in the Tel Aviv University Entrepreneurship Program. My name is Zach Weisfeld. Uh, I'm the general manager of Intel Ignite, Intel's early stage startup program, it's a global program. Israel is super important for Intel. Um, I, I don't know if you're aware, 2% um, of the GDP of Israel is Intel. We are the largest private uh, tech employer in the country. So other than the government, uh, we're the largest one, about 14,000 people in Israel. It's, it's pretty big. I'm Mikhail Shemia program manager at Microsoft for Startup Tel Aviv. Microsoft for Startup is a global program dedicated to helping startups successfully scale their companies. We connect startups to some of our top customers and make it easier to work with enterprises. My name is Pascal Cohen, uh, born and raised in Germany and moved to Israel 2006 and lived there for 13 years. So I work for SimilarWeb. I don't know if you heard about SimilarWeb. SimilarWeb is a market intelligence platform that helps businesses all over the world to drive better digital decisions. Hi, my name is Skylar Frieda. I work for Gardnock Cyber Technologies. We are the first cyber tech tier supplier of high performance automotive computing platforms. Um, we have three offices. One is in Ramle, our headquarters. It's a little outside of Tel Aviv. And we have two subsidiaries, one in Stuttgart, Germany, and one in Michigan in the United States. This is John Medved, the founder and CEO of Our Crowd. Our Crowd is Israel's most active venture capital investor. We're managing about $1.5 billion of capital. We've invested in about 250 startups, and we have 25 funds. Um, what we're seeing in, uh, in Israel in terms of uh, trends in the venture capital industry is continued growth. Israel grew remarkably uh, in 2020, the year of COVID. In fact, the total dollars of investment uh, made in Israel went from about 8 billion to 10.2 billion, or a growth of about 25%. That's remarkable in any year, but it's off the charts, literally, in a year of COVID, when people couldn't even travel here to make these investments. We're all making investments and doing business on Zoom, and the startup nation is flourishing. There are a lot of benefits to choose Israel over other countries. The Israeli unique society and culture, strong ecosystem, government support, and global first market approach are just a few of the factors that make Israeli innovation ecosystem one of the most successful in the world. People here don't afraid to take risks and also learn from failure even more than success. And what makes Israel so unique? So the obvious things are, you know, super strong technology and technology people, great universities. The army is a very unique place that doesn't exist in other countries in the same way that exists here from, from a talent perspective. And the things that are not obvious about Israel are tremendous ability to learn fast, right? We're super agile learners. So we adapt very fast. You can look at COVID-19, how many Israeli startups completely pivoted 
to take advantage of what's happening with COVID-19. So you've probably heard about all these great things that Israel has, and we have some of the best technologies in the world. The one thing that we're not great at, we're not great at marketing, we're not great at uh, uh, actually crafting and doing storytelling. We're not great at doing it in English. Uh, so there's a big opportunity in Israel for people that come from the US, have learned from elementary school how to debate, how to develop a story, uh, can do it in English as their native language, uh, connect to the culture of the customers, of the audience that we're supposed to pitch to. So there's a great opportunity for people from the US, for example, to come in and work with Israeli startups and bridge that gap between technology and how do you tell the technology story? Well, I was myself a Massa uh, participant a uh, long, long time ago. I started uh, at SimilarWeb um, many, many years ago, I uh, had a junior role, and now I'm a director uh, in North America for SimilarWeb. We can hire interns uh, for full-time positions in Israel, but also for our satellite offices around the world. And um, we do have a lot of entry positions available, which is great for young Massa professionals. And there's always growth opportunities out there. So we started accepting the soft participants. We were founded in 2016 and we started probably around 2017. And I myself was a Massa participant. Um, I was the intern back in 2018. I was marketing general intern. Today I'm the marketing analyst. Um, and I started, it was a year and a half ago, and I wasn't sure what I was looking for in the, in the country or in the position or like in the company. And they used my skill set and we adapted it to make my current role now. By coming to Israel and working for startups or working for the big multinationals who are here, and there are about 400 of them, ranging from Google to Facebook to Intel, etc., you are getting experience in technology and technology investment, which is in the top leagues of the world. I mean, other than Silicon Valley, Israel is number one. And frankly, I think uh, we give our people, certainly in our crowd, and I hear this about other companies, much more responsibility and interesting work to do, even compared to Silicon Valley. The internship that I had was with a private innovation consulting company. I was a project leader helping them launch their clean energy innovation center based in Khadera. This was a stepping stone for me making Aliyah, and now my career path, I still work in energy technology to this day. For the first eight months of my program, I researched in a molecular biology laboratory at Tel Aviv University and taught young children gymnastics at a community center. In the last two months, I volunteered for the Ambulance Corps Magen David Adom. For two days out of the week, we were in the classroom all day from about 8 to 3.30. It was very intense. We uh, had a lot of homework. We had a lot of group studying. Looking back, I'm very glad I went through it that way because I was able to learn way more than I would have otherwise. Through the entrepreneurship program, uh, you know, we were supposed to interview uh, lots of startup owners, uh, startup creators, because obviously, you know, Israel is startup nation, and that was a really interesting experience because obviously they're very intelligent, very creative and very inspirational people. Today, there are 10,000 startups in Israel. And uh, in addition to that, there are over 50 unicorns, which are the companies that are valued at a billion dollars, uh, still in the private market before they've gone public. This is about 10% of the world's total unicorns. Uh, and you have to remember that Israel represents about, you know, uh, two-tenths of one percent uh, of the world's population. So we are less than that, actually. We are almost a hundred times over-indicated in terms of the number of unicorns out there. So in Israel, the benefits of the workplace are a little different than I was accustomed to in the U.S. The, the pension fund here, um, it works out very well. Your company matches it seven percent of what you put in. The company provides in Israel food cards that can use at many restaurants around the office, which is great. You get a card, you have a monthly allowance, you go to the restaurants and you, have, and you can use them. The company also provides allowances for public transportation. And what is also very cool, it's similar where you have a gym, we have a music room, we have happy hours, we have big holiday parties. 
with a virtual reality room, with yoga classes, and much more. We belong to the top five where do you want to work companies in Israel. So I think that speaks for itself and um, you should definitely not miss out the great snacks we have in the kitchen. The other thing which is critical and I think you will be able to connect to, Israelis and generally Jewish people are really good at giving back to each other and are supporting each other. So connecting people not only in Israel but connecting across the world, the fact that we have uh, um, uh, you know, not six degrees of separation, almost zero degrees of separation or 0.5 degrees of separation is critical. The ability to access opportunities, um, uh, connect to people, very, very unique for Israel. Uh, if anything, Israelis are much more warm and friendly than Americans. Your colleagues will turn into friends. Um, it's just a great community with talented people and it's very vibrant. Israel is a non-hierarchical, very sort of flat uh, tech environment where uh, we value brains and chutzpah and, you know, chic and people who ask questions. And so it's absolutely a wonderful place uh, to be an intern. My current career today, my current job is I work as a loan officer for a uh, debt settlement company. So we help people in credit card debt. In terms of my career journey specifically, it showed me how to think creatively. And uh, Israel really taught me that there's always a way out. You know, you just have to figure it out. My Masa program contributed to my future success by allowing me to explore the career that I am now pursuing, scientific research. I am now finishing my bachelor's degree in biochemistry and pursuing a PhD in neuroscience with the goal of becoming a professor. My Masa program also made it clear to me that I would like to move to Israel permanently and hopefully soon. The Masa program led me to uh, my road of success because it made me a much stronger applicant for um, my future career path, which is to be a doctor. My current job and career path today is to be a physician, and I am currently a medical student in the United States. My current job today is I'm a senior buyer for a health care provider in Missouri. I'm basically responsible for making sure that 15 hospitals and you know our provider um, are equipped with all the the orders that they need. I work with the vendor and with the nurses and the doctors and so on at the hospitals to make sure that they get the products that they need. So some of the ways that the Masa program has impacted um, my experience and my career journey is that ability to just be thrown into the environment and learn as I go. Now I have my own company um, called Ignite the Spark where we co-founded with my partner the innovation community of Israel focused on clean energy. We have over a thousand members and we've had over 35 events. If it wasn't for this actual internship, I don't think that I would have been so successful in my transition into my career and my professional life here. I'm a co-founder of a company at 28. Uh, we have 10 employees. Um, I made Aliyah immediately after the program because of, of this pro, of, of because of the success that I had on this program. The Masa experience helped me become a more mature individual. I had to leave everything behind in the United States, leave for myself into a country that's completely unfamiliar to me. I think this helped me become a more well-rounded individual, and it'll definitely help me in my future perspectives. Just being immersed in a different culture for five months, um, it's never it's something I've never done before. My program brought together people from all over the world, including Turkey, Italy, France, Russia. Japan, Australia, the US, Brazil, Chile, Argentina, literally all over the map. I also made a ton of friends on my books, and some of those people I still talk with